Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete in the Lifetime Cheese Production Cow class in our 2015 International Jersey Show. Our winning junior is entry 1639, Polyview Giller Sabrina, exhibited by Andy Ryan and Kelly Ripp of Dymox, South Dakota. On to the open show, the production award winner for this class and also taking home the NASCO International Type and Production Award presented by NASCO of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin is the fifth place entry, 1635, Ratliff Minister Porsche, exhibited by Ron and Krista Ratliff of Garnet, Kansas. At five years, five months, or 293 day record produced 26,692 pounds of milk with a 5.6% fat, 3.8% protein. In third is 1642, She's Forever Hopeful Tanya, exhibited by Greg and Joel Bourne and Tabitha Francis of Ansonia, Ohio. Second place, and also best bred and owned in the class, is entry 1633, Woodmore Marlowe's Ultra Divine, exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys of Bloomer, Wisconsin. And the winning entry and best utter goes to entry 1641, Stony Point Excitation Jamie, exhibited by River Valley Farm, Ben, Andy, Blessing, and Grace Souter of Tremont, Illinois. Congratulations. Some very nice cows in this uh, production class. Uh, today, this cow quite handily for me sorts herself the way to the top. Um, she's longer in that four udder. She has more uh, width through that rear udder today. Cow that just, when you get behind her, has more spring and pop to her rib. She's longer in that frame and harder in that back part of her loin today over the cow in second. Second over third. I just like that femininity breed character about that head. She's longer and leaner in that neck. Uh, she's just silkier about that hide, more open in that rib. She's cleaner and flatter in the bone in the hock today than a cow. Uh, coming out third, third cow over the fourth cow. I just prefer her length of four udder and snugness of four udder today in the, in the cow in third over the cow in fourth. She's got more drop to that midsection in that rear flank area than the cow in fourth. The cow in fourth over the cow in fifth just has more breed character and femininity about the head. She's square shaped in that rear udder region today. I just like the neatness about that tail placement and the quality of bone and flatness of bone in the hawk area today than the big square frame cow coming out fifth. The fifth cow over the next cow. And six just uh, has so much more overall mass and width all the way through. The cow in six just lacks that power, and, and when you get behind her, that spring and pop to her rib. But a fine cow, but just lacks that to, to be any higher today. Thank you.